Hey everyone, this is Dave with Android Police, and this is a video uh, we're making. After we received our Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and Note 5 review units, uh, we began noticing uh, something that we'd seen other reviewers uh, complain about, which was the multitasking performance in terms of how aggressively processes are killed in the background. And so what I'm going to do today here is attempt to show you how the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus kills apps in comparison to, for example, this Nexus 6 right here. Uh, running the latest Android M preview, although we don't think the fact that it's running M should really make a difference in terms of uh, how it's managing background apps. So what we're going to do is run through a series of apps and show you how quickly processes complete on them, uh, and then we'll show you how quickly it takes uh, a given phone to then reload that app after a few other apps have been opened up after that app has been opened. So we're going to start with the Yelp app here on both devices. And I'm going to select a restaurant that's nearby, and we'll go to that page. And both these phones have had all their running processes cleared, so they're running clean right now. So then we'll go back home, and then we'll open up Instagram. And so from Instagram, we'll go to a certain scroll point here, so that the app has somewhere it knows to come back to. And then we're going to go home. And then we're going to go to this app, Bacon Reader, which is a Google or a Reddit app, excuse me. And we're just going to pick a comment thread to look at here. So again, that the app has a specific place that we can recall that's going to go back to. Then we'll open up, uh, we'll go to Twitter here. And we'll pick a tweet, Let's say this Engadget tweet right here. And then we'll go to Spotify. And we'll pick an album to open up. So once again, that we know we have something to come back to here. And then we're going to go to Google+. And we'll pick this Android police post right here. Go home. Go to YouTube. And we're going to select a video, uh, assuming the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus loads there. Uh, Let's pick a video. It's regular car reviews visit to junkyard. junkyard, um, fun. junkyard. So we'll let that exit. And then we'll go to Google Photos. And we're just going to pick a random photo here that I took the other day at some winery. And then we're going to go home. So now you remember the first app we opened. Oh, let's do maps for good measure here. Uh, and uh, actually, that probably wasn't a good idea. But anyway, uh, let's go back to our first app, Yelp, where we had that page open. Now let's watch how quickly each phone opens that app. You'll notice the Nexus 6 gets there immediately, whereas the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus appears to have to reflow the entire application. It does get back to the right page, but it took a lot longer to do it. So let's try Instagram. Google Plus, or excuse me, the Nexus 6 immediately remembers you're supposed to go back to that flow point, uh, and it doesn't have this pop-in thing of people you want to follow. Once again, the S6 Edge Plus has reopened the entire app, so this suggestions area uh, popped in in a way that messed up the scroll point. I uh, go to Bacon Reader. We'll see that the S6 Edge Plus has to reload the comments again. Go to uh, Twitter you see that the S6 Edge Plus took longer, despite the fact that it actually opened the Twitter app quicker on the first run there. Go to Spotify. Again, the S6 Edge Plus takes longer to do this now. Uh, go to Google Plus. You see that reflow action again. And finally, go to YouTube. And the S6 Edge Plus only takes noticeably longer. It has to reflow all of the related videos, likes, etc. And then we can go to Photos. And once again, you can see the difference there. Despite the fact that on the first run, the S6 Edge Plus was quicker in most of these tasks, and we can go back to Yelp again, and it'll happen just again as I run through all these apps here. Time doesn't really matter. So it's going to reflow no matter what you do. Now, the reason this is happening, uh, it's our only guess is that some kind of aggressive memory management is perhaps some kind of power-saving feature uh, for Samsung on the S6 Edge Plus and Note 5. And this isn't the first phone this behavior is exhibited on, but it does have four gigabytes of RAM, and you would expect it to be able to hold a task in memory a lot longer uh, than a device with less RAM. The Nexus 6 not only has less RAM, it has slower RAM. It has a slower processor. 
uh, the phone is running an unstable version of the operating system. There are a lot of factors that should be working against the Nexus 6's uh, multitasking performance here, and yet the S6 Edge Plus still managed to be slower despite being the clearly technically faster phone. Uh, and yeah, that's, it's just something we've observed and we, we're going to ask Samsung about this and see if they will provide a response. Samsung typically doesn't provide responses to technical questions like this, uh, at least uh, not usually, but we will ask them. Uh, because it, it is a major issue for user experience when apps like these are constantly reflowing. Uh, because it slows you down. It can take anywhere from a fraction of a second to three to five seconds longer for the uh, Samsung phone to go back to a recent tax than the Nexus 6 here. Once again, despite the Nexus 6 being a technically slower device. So yeah, we just wanted to share that.